We're gonna put all this in it so people can see how annoying y'all can be. So today was bring your broke best friends to work day and it was a blast. I can't lie. It was fun allowing them to see how I do what I do when I do it. So I'm going to also show y'all a little bit of how to. All right. So that's a design that I created a couple years ago and been tweaking for a while. Um, I wanted to see how it worked printing it a large scale um, print onto a hoodie. So I have my DTF printer printing right now and we'll see how it works. So right here, I'm pretty much just cutting off the exit, the excess um, film. So I have a hard time putting on any gloves, damn near. But now I'm gonna put the DTF powder on the, uh, the film. I use this Pro Color DTF powder that was provided to me when I ordered my whole uh, setup. And so I like that it comes in this resealable bag, so that way I don't have to use all of it to try to figure it, figure out a way to store it, so that it doesn't, you know, get messed up or whatever. So I use this bin. And right now I'm pouring it over my image and I'm going to show you. I'm doing pretty much what the shaker machine will do. Um, making sure that I'm evenly coating the powder on the back side of the image. Because this is what helps it to stick to the garment. And then I'm using my trusty uh, oven that came with my setup uh, via Pro Color as well. Uh, I want to set it to 100 degrees Celsius. Uh, and uh, the timer, I'm going to set it for 200 seconds. So I'm getting the rest of the, uh, the powder on there. Probably gonna show my age a little bit in a couple of minutes. As you can see, um, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid pit. Anyway. Take off the rest of the excess now i want y'all to look at it you'll be able to see it a little better in a minute but that's the back side and then that's the front side of the image you're printing so beautifully oh my goodness there's the there it is my age showing right there um anyway i'm gonna go ahead and shake off the excess make sure it's evenly coated and I'm gonna shake some more off because you know I'm extra. I don't know. I'm gonna coat some more. Uh, now I'm gonna shake it off again, uh, you know, and then I'm gonna finally put it in the oven gently because you don't want to mess your image up at all. You don't want to scratch off any of the ink. All right, get out of here, Ben. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is seal my resealable bag. Like I said, I love that. Then I'm going to take a little bit of a video of the top so you can kind of see it closer. You see how beautiful that is? All right. And it's, as it's heating up, my broke best friend enters the room. Wait, was, it, was this mom's shirt when Kim was pregnant? Um, when mom was pregnant? What shirt? This shirt. When she was in the hospital. The baby? Yeah. Possibly. Because it's still familiar. Possibly. Do you want to start over? Nah, you're my video, but it's okay. You can talk to the people. All right, guys. So I'm with my dad today. His name is Rob Naylor Jr. And we're going to make a video, but since I'm in the video, I'm going to be part of it. Now, if you're only here to see me make the shirt, hey. by all means, fast forward it. I promise I will not fill away. But if you ever come to Cinnery and Stipe, make sure you sign the, rock, the wall right there. And Can you come to where? Cinnery and Stipe. Cinnery and Stipe. Serenity and Stipe? Serenity and Stipe, But yes. this isn't Serenity and Stipe. This is, that's mom's company. What's my company? Oh. RobNailerJr.com mm -hmm. RobNailerJr.com
That's fine. Oh. Okay, what's the other name of my business? Robert Naylor Jr. dot com. Robert Naylor Jr. LLC. LLC. You should make sure make sure you put a sign up there. I will. No, 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 no. no. Do you want to try? You want to start over? No. We're gonna put all this in so people can see how annoying y'all can be. Not annoying. That's the wrong word. Him do the shirt. Actually, I'm waiting. The part I'm on right now is I'm waiting for the oven. I'm waiting for the oven to heat up. Is so that, that the oven? Which that's one? the oven. I'm waiting for the oven to heat up so I can cure my design. So when you're doing DTF, direct to transfer. Yeah. After it's finished printing, you put your powder on your DTF powder on it. You missed that part. I put the DTF powder, DTF powder on there, and now I'm waiting for my oven to heat up. And it's going to be um, at 100 degrees Celsius for 200 seconds. So. How am I going to get in this big deal? So I'm going to question. I'm going to question you. All right. So I'm going to be questioning my dad. Let's move this back so you can actually be in the video. Since you just deal my video. They can't see you though. Oh. They don't need to see anything. They just need to see you. Alright, Dad. So, um, we're gonna be questioning you to see if you know me. So we're gonna start with some easy stuff and some hard ones, okay? Okay. Alright, so what is my favorite color? Your favorite color. And I'm gonna give you a good hint. I already know. It's three. It. I don't need hints. Oh, okay. Favorite color? Pink. I thought you were going to say purple. Yeah. That's one of them. So if you would ask me multiples, purple would have been one. Yeah. I know you. So pink, I know pink is your favorite color. Pink is my most favorite color. I know that. That's why I said pink. That's why my answer was what it was. Okay. So, Dad, what is my favorite sports? Your favorite sports? Softball, basketball, soccer. It. Volleyball. Yeah. Well, I think you already said one. No, I did. I said softball, basketball, softball, basketball, soccer, volleyball. What is my favorite vegetable? Your favorite vegetable? That's easy. Broccoli. Yeah. Alright. What is my favorite animal? Favorite animal. Those ones that begin were tricky. So, okay. what is my favorite thing to collect? Uh, your favorite thing to collect is rocks. What type of rocks? Crystals. Uh. Still, I mean, name all my friends. This is gonna be tricky. This is, no, this is easy. What? All right. Your friend group consists of uh, Madeline. How do you know there's a Madeline? Um, Mackenzie. Yes. Um, don't tell me, Riley. Rhyme 
Ferrari. Ferrari? Just take away the uh, F. Ferrari? Take away the other uh, R. Aria. Aria. That was it. Okay. All right, now. Aria, Aria, Madeline, Mackenzie. There's the one. You did help me on that one, but I mean. What is my favorite subject? Favorite subject? Um, reading. There's another one. Art? Yes, and there's another one. Social studies? No. I like social studies. Too. No, not that. Math? No. Music? I like music, but no. No. Science? Gonna give you a very good hit. This is a piece of paper. Okay. You use it. It's a piece of paper. The hint is a piece of paper. <laughs> Writing. Yeah. Okay. I didn't want to give you a really good hint. Okay. Alright, what is my happy place? Your happy place. Um, hold on, real quick. I gotta put this down so they can see. So I'm gonna put the oven down and let it cook. <laughs> so can you actually click on it? Why wear those gloves and you already know you can't fit? <laughs> again okay make sure you start hitting the like button because i know you guys haven't did it but if you did subscribe good job but he's right there and i'm about to ask him more questions so if you know and he doesn't hit them down below okay he's dancing he thinks he's so good so good don't tell him that don't tell him that he's he doesn't know if I'm a better dancer. Don't tell him that because he'll be mad. Hopefully he doesn't check this video. Hey. It's, hey, not, it's hey. not like I said anything. Okay, mom didn't want to watch me swag out. But anyway, everybody get your flowers, hoodie. It's right down there. You can get different colorways. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but you like designer huh yeah yeah wait are you gonna put it on a shirt like that yeah are you gonna start making things like that now remember i made this like years ago you started printing them out like that yeah i'll put on a shirt yeah, yeah. anything on a shirt man anything so can you put your face on <laughs> Yeah, 
So I know a lot of people use the um, those like T-squares and the lining up things, like guides. I've been doing this for so long, I can pretty much use my own method of lining it up. Um, I eyeball it a lot, but then I also have marks on the shirt that I look at, and it helps me to line it up perfectly. Um, so, but I'm very meticulous about this process. Like I don't, I don't like to to get anything offline. I'm a supply troop um, by Air Force trade, so you know meticulousness runs in our supply DNA. So I had to preheat the uh, the shirt first or the hoodie first, just to make sure that the ink, you know materializes into the shirt as much as possible into the fabric and then now i'm going to go ahead and line it up again and press now this is 100 percent cotton this is a very high quality hoodie from um where did i get this one from oh independent trading company um i love their hoodies it's the same as the one that i have on with the flowers design um if you like that more fitted look and it's very warm and soft uh, yeah, but as you can see, the thickness of the hoodie is making me work overtime to get it um, into my heat press machine. This is a 15 by 15. If you want to make it easier for hoodies, especially bigger hoodies, I would say go ahead and get like the bigger heat presses, maybe like the six, I think it's 16 by 20 or whatever the, the next largest um, one is. But I make it work. I like harder, not smarter sometimes. And that's my downfall. But it works out at the end of the day, so it's going to do what it do. And then, like I said, this automatic press is a lifesaver. I just slide it in, press that aura, press that aura. Well, let me push it, make sure it's all the way down. Press that aura, and it, it do its thing. Press. I don't have to even do it. That manual press had me fooled, thinking I had to do all that work. And then it's like magic after the time is up. And it's up. Man, it's up. It's up and it's up. Now I'm going to go over here and lay it down. And then peel. Because it requires more of like a, a, a cooler peel. And then, you know, we have magic. I love how this printer prints full color. Like, it's bright, vibrant color. And it came out good. The only thing that... Um, you know, me as the way I am. What I do is I go back and give it another press with my um, Teflon sheet just to really solidify the ink into the hoodie and then this is how it turns out. I love that. And so the design itself is more than likely going to be the cover for my next book called Three. Um, it's a story, it's a poetic story of enlightenment and my journey. And you'll see it right here on my rack, on the gold rack, coming soon. Um, they'll be available for, for purchase soon. I still have to do another part for the um, the front of the hoodie. Uh, I'm going to put the actual title of it in the, uh, the, the front on the chest. Small, you'll see that. I'll probably do another video with that part just to finish up the hoodie. So, peace, love, and light. <laughs>